what is the best Halloween-themed Transformers episode of all time? Well, I know because I polled 3,000 fans on Facebook and asked. And I think the data may shockwave you. Let's take a gander at the poll results. And this video will also give you some great costume ideas. Autobot Spike, 9%. I was pretty surprised at that. Dark Awakening, everybody's favorite, but it came in second at 34%. Springer, you look possessed, but possessed in a good way. 13% for Dweller in the Depths, lucky 13. And Starscream's Ghost and Ghost in Machine 1. Are you doing your math at home? That's okay, I'll calculate it for you. The answer is 44%. Can you believe that? I can. And the plus or minus margin of error is zero. How do I know that? I said so. <laughs> I'm Orion Pats. I am the admin of the Transformers Trivia Facebook group. I have other data to share with you, like what other episodes were mentioned in this poll. I don't think that Web World will surprise you because that episode is filled with all kinds of freaks like that one. What the hell is that thing? Uh, yeah, if you dress up like him, send me a picture. I want to see what that fuck looks like. Now, Nightmare Planet also received... Also received a few shout outs in the poll because, you know, there's monsters and witches and I like dressing up as a witch for Halloween. Now it's time for the trivia portion of this video. So whip out some of your Halloween candy and don't give away those fun sizes at your house and then you're a jerk. <laughs> there's nothing fun about getting four M&Ms. We're going to start off this trivia game with a true or false question. From the, you know, pretty creepy episode, Autobot Spike. He was first called Autobot X before his body was transferred into that mishmash monster thing. So did he transform in that episode? Now, I know Frankenstein is supposed to be ugly, but that is one disgusting looking freak creature. It's alive. It's alive. Are you going to get this question correct? The answer is, it's true. That's right. Spike transformed into this hunk of junk. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, he did not. I don't know where I got this from. A friend of mine sent it to me. It's, of course, false. So we're having a little bit of fun here at Transformers Trivia. Now, next question is multiple choice about Optimus Prime's Dark Awakening. He told me that I have to ask you to subscribe, so please do that now, because everybody says, oh, make sure you show the button and subscribe. Blah, blah, blah. Just do it, and then Optimus Prime won't shoot you in the head. Number two, the bot-built tomb where Optimus Prime awakens as an apparent zombie, shown here, and Dark Awakening is the size of what, according to Spike? Now, I'm going to show you the video answer of this, because we do that here at Transformers Trade. And by the way, subscribing is free. It doesn't cost a freaking cent. Let's see how giant this mausoleum is. It's the size of Manhattan. Manhattan. I hope never to see it again. Hey, you don't want to see it again. You built the damn thing. Now, Manhattan, I love it, but it is stuffed with all kinds of snort farmers. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. I needed some kind of segue to show you the Treehouse of Horror where the Simpsons, where they parody Transformers and they mix up the letters to make it Snort Farmer. Uh, yeah, so here's the clip. And I'd show you more if I had permission, but I don't. So after you've tapped the like button to this video, go look for it on YouTube on someone else's channel. Let's go with a Dweller in the Depths question. This energy-sucking creature is part of a group of beings called what? Who turned Cybertronians into zombies during that episode. And I'll give you a hint. It's not Buffalo Dumps. Although that is a real thing. I saw it on Transformers Wiki, and I don't recall what it is. If you tell me what it is, I'll give you an extra point. Let's take a gander at this answer. It's trans organics. Yeah, the Quintessons created them. They're wreaking havoc all over the place. Now, look, I'm giving you so many different Halloween costume ideas. So if you take any of these suggestions, send me an email. Send me a picture of it. I'd love to see it. But please, whatever you do, do not describe your costume as spooktacular. Everybody uses that freaking word around this time of year, and they think they're so clever. You're not. You're being a douchebag. Now, Cyclonus, he's no douchebag. He got some of my questions wrong, but now I'm going to give him a chance to get an extra point with a boni for Cyclonus. Okay, I have no idea why I just said Boni and Cyclonai, but uh, I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with the drugs I took. I'm kidding. I do not take drugs that have not been prescribed for me or that I found on a prison floor. Mm, let's just forget I said that. Thank you. Okay, if you want to join the Transformers Trivia Facebook group, I'll shove the link in the description below so you can join if you don't take yourself too seriously. The bonus is about Starscream when he played dress up as Optimus Prime. Which episode was it? I think this boni is pretty easy. Cyclonus is going to get it correct. Are you? We're going to look at the video answer because we love hearing Starscream's voice. Uh, this man 
past with full Prime Zone creator. Starscream, this proves the Autobots are innocent. And it proves that you did a great job on this quiz. I'm giving you an A+. In return, please hit the subscribe button like Shockwave. Thanks, buddy. And as a thanks, I'm going to give you a full-size chocolate bar. Well, that kind of looks like a turd. Okay, forget that too. Will you watch more of my videos? I say over 50, but it's close to 100. I put a lot of work into these bastards. So please bookmark this page, youtube.com slash Ryan Pats, like this chick is doing and that guy is doing, and I'm going to give them a full-size candy. All right, that looks like shit too.